My name is Madeline Coppinger. I live in Rutland uh, with my husband, and um, my husband and I met about 50 years ago. We both worked for the same supermarket chain, and it turned out that I had to call a particular supermarket every day to get um, the competitor's prices, and that was how we met. I spoke with him every day on the phone and was intrigued by this fellow who was so accommodating to help me do my job. So uh, we dated for two years. We were married in Maine 48 years ago this past June. We came to Vermont in 1973. Um, we have five children who all went through the Rutland school system. Unfortunately, four of them have moved away from Vermont. One remains here and he's a big supporter of um, mom and dad and it's great to have someone who still lives around so when I need a light bulb changed I can call him. Fran worked for the company for about 46 years and uh, never thought about retiring. Um, when they left the area uh, he was forced to leave that job but immediately found other work and just he never talked about retiring. In um, late June in 2008, he uh, came home from his part-time job and wasn't feeling well. And about 2.30 that afternoon, suffered a stroke. Um, he made a remarkable recovery in terms of the physical side of it, but it left him with some cognitive impairments and he had to give up driving which was very difficult for him. Um, he of course couldn't work so he was home all day. He needed, um, he needed assistance 24-7 and he got some wonderful care from the visiting nurses and was really feeling pretty healthy but his cognitive issues became more pronounced. Um, he uh, suffers from dementia. He has some physical difficulties which mean that he needs a walker now to get around. Sometimes we use a wheelchair when it's more convenient um, because walking long distances uh, is difficult for him. Um, given the fact that he was always very active, um, he was always working at least four hours a day, so he was always out of the house interacting with other people. And then all of a sudden he was home every minute of every day, every day of the week. Um, I was retired at the time and he would get dressed in the morning and he would say, well, where are we going? And he'd want to go somewhere. And that was fine until gas got to be $4 a gallon and I got to the point where I needed some time to be home, to do the laundry, wash the floor, just veg out if I wanted to. But he had to go somewhere every day and I was really feeling very frustrated, um, suffocated even. And I was, I came to the realization that I needed to have someone else to talk to, someone who could help me deal with the issues that we were going through. Um, and I just, by sheer coincidence, came upon a newspaper announcement of a support group, a caregiver support group, that met once a month at the Interage facility, which at that time was on North Main Street. I went and I found just the most wonderful folks there who were such a resource of information and support and just it was wonderful. I was with other people who'd been going through the same thing, who had gone through it, who were just starting, and there was a wonderful sharing of ideas, and it was a really positive, positive experience. And after attending that for a while, I became curious about the Interage program, which 
I really didn't know anything about. And I learned that it was um, a day program for adults um, who had various um, disabilities um, and they dealt a lot with folks who had dementia of various types. At the urging of the director, I began to think about that being an option for Francis. I, the idea of sending him away was really foreign to me, sending him away. Um, but he came for a visit and loved it. So he enrolled, he started out, it was two years ago, a little over two years ago, and he started two days a week. And he really looked forward to it. I looked forward to having a few hours every day when I knew I could leave the house by myself. I could go and have lunch with a girlfriend. I could go visit someone and have coffee. And I wasn't feeling guilty about leaving him alone and being worried about him being by himself in the house. Um, so it's evolved that now he comes four days a week the bus transports him back and forth. Um, he's made friends with the bus drivers, with the folks, um, the staff. Um, he's, he's like a surrogate grandpa to one of the staff who just had a baby, and he is just so thrilled. Um, he comes willingly, happily, um, they do activities here. They have um, a wonderful staff. They have a nourishing meal at, at lunchtime, a hot meal, which is quite substantial. And they have mashed potatoes frequently, which he just loves, because we don't do that much at home, because I hate to peel potatoes. <laughs> After living in Maine. <laughs> After living in Maine, I do um, not appreciate... I have arthritis in my hand, so it's it's difficult. Um, he calls this going to work because he had that mindset of being the workaholic for so many years. Um, he has a good time. They have activities. Um, they play games. They do chair exercises. Um, they have different programs that come in. They have therapy dogs that come in periodically, and he just loves that. They have um, community groups who come in and sing or dance or do little skits, and he enjoys that very much. And it's what he gets through the inter-age program is something that's very unique, very much geared to what someone in Fran's situation needs. And it is something that I can't offer him. I mean, yes, I could take him to do errands or I could take him out for lunch or something of that nature but the variety and the professionalism and those kinds of aspects that are offered at the interage program is something far more than what I could do for him caring for him at home. He enjoys it. He hates it when there's a holiday and he can't he can't come up because it's a holiday in terms of the caregiver support group which I still attend those of us who do attend it on a regular basis uh, or even sporadically have found that the facilitators are a wealth of information they have steered us to so many good programs that we might not have become aware of otherwise. Um, they are a, a sympathetic, caring group with practical, down-to-earth ideas, and the sharing within the group has been invaluable to me. Um, our kids are very supportive of dads participating in interage. They we're concerned about the isolation, the loneliness, the, the, bus to come. Take the, bus? 
depression, if you will. I certainly was suffering from depression, and he perhaps was a little bit, and just the idea that he wasn't interacting. He's a people person, always has been, always has worked with people um, through his various jobs, and the idea that it was only me that he was interacting with got old fast. So I view the interage adult daycare program as a lifesaver for both of us. Um, it's been wonderful for me, just on a very selfish um, point of view. Um, it's been terrific for Francis. Um, it's just um, a very special program, and we in Rutland are extremely happy to have um, it in the community.